What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough. Okay, so it is finally time to see or to reveal the starter type Pokemon or the starter Pokemon in my new walkthrough right here. Well, new, not so new. And yes, I didn't upload this in, on, you know, the day I was supposed to, you know, February 6th, you know, because wasn't really prepared. Didn't really make the sidebars, the background. Uh, yeah, wasn't really ready. Plus, I got a busy ass week, so yeah, that was kind of a that was kind of the biggest thing right there. But it gave you guys an extra few more days to start voting for those who didn't vote. And I'm actually glad you guys did because you know what? This was uh, this is pretty cool. Pretty cool of you guys to vote and give me exact reasons to why you guys want the specific starter Pokemon that you chose for me. And you know what? I'm gonna keep on doing this, giving you guys the power to choose my starter type Pokemon in the next few uh, walkers that I will be uploading. Um, so. Enough talking. Who is it? Who is it gonna? Who is it gonna be? Who won? As you can see, Torchic, Mudkip, Trico. Three good starter Pokemon right here in Hoenn. Um, when I was Draven XC711, I've I did two walkers on Pokemon Emerald. Both times I used Torchic, and I was kind of hoping you guys would like stay away from Torchic because hey, you know. I also had the feeling that, you know, I used Torchic way too many times and I kind of wanted to do something new. And you guys already, you know, you guys read my mind. Um, <laughs> but if you guys can see right there on the on the, on the the screen, Poke Rockstar is like this. Bro, you need to go with what always worked for you. Torchic, I know you've used this Pokemon countless times, but hear me out. In the game, the fire type Pokemon are very limited and I'm pretty sure you'll be wanting to use a fire type. It is true. It is true. There are very limited uh, fire type Pokemon in this game, but hey, you know, I'm pretty sure I can find the fire type that can replace Torchic in this kind of uh, setting right here. And if you guys are wanting to know how many votes Torchic got, seven. It got seven. So here we go. The winner of our, you know, pick uh, pick Draven starter is. Da -da 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 -da. I will see you guys in the next episode. I'm just playing, guys. The winner is Mudkip with 11 votes. Actually won on the last two days right here. And uh, it won by the margin of 11 to 8 against Trico. And I'm actually glad you, uh, glad you guys voted for Mudkip because I actually have a team ready for this guy right here. So let's go on ahead and continue this game right here. Let's go with Mudkip. Yes! The Water-type Pokemon. So... After waiting t almost two weeks to save Professor Birch, yeah, no, I don't even know what his name is. We're gonna be taking on that wild zigzag goon, and of course, as you can see, Mudkip, the water type Pokemon, only knows tackle and growl. Now it is gonna be a little hard to train him at first, but eventually, yeah, you get you guys get the you'll you'll get the drift of how like you know Mudkip will work, especially when it evolves into a Swampert, and. Uh, this is new to me. Zigzag Goon has an Orin Berry. Wow. Okay. All right. So it doesn't want to die too quickly right here. It's giving us a challenge, lowering our attack, and uh, well, we need a. We need, oh wow, we missed. Oh god. Oh god. Now what happens if we lose? Do we have to? Do we still have to save the Pokemon or Professor Elm or whatever his name is or Professor Birch, whatnot? I don't even know. But here we go with the tackle attack. Finished. Fatality, that's right, and Mudkip does not grow level. Oh, it's Professor Birch. He's like, whew! I was in tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was when I was jumped. You saved me, thanks a lot. Oh! Hi, you're Draven. This is not the place to chat, so come so come by my Pokemon lab later, right? Okay. And here we are in the Pokemon lab a little bit later. And Professor Birch's like, so Draven. I've heard so much uh, about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. But the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with a plum. I don't even know what that word sound or what, what that word is, but it sounds pretty good. A plum. I guess you have your father's blood blood in your veins after all. Well, yeah, I am his kid. You know, he is my biological father. You know, I didn't have his blood in. Uh, that means he's not my father. Enough about that. Let's go. Ah, uh, yes. As a thanks for rescuing me, I'd like you to have a Pokemon that you said you used earlier. And there we go. We got Mudkip. And I think I already have a good nickname for this Pokemon right here. It's like, while you're at it, why not give a nickname to your Mudkip? All right. I got the real, 
I got the coolest nickname right here. I got it. I got it. Now it was a yeah, it was it, it was a debate between mud or swamp. Of course, it's gonna evolve into a swamper way later on. So here we go. I hope it works. We're gonna name him Swamp Lord. That's right, Swamp Lord. I know. Sounds pretty cool, huh? Swamp Lord. That's right, Swamp Lord. That's right. It's like, if you work at Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make an extremely good trainer. My kid May is also studying Pokemon while helping me out. Draven, don't you think uh, it, it might be a good idea to go see uh, go see May? Well, I already did a week ago. While I was waiting for, you know, to save you. Hmm. I really want to say no. I really want to say no. Okay, let's go. Professor Birch. Okay, great. May should be happy too. Get May to teach you what it means to be a trainer. Alrighty. Okay, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling good. I'm mobile, agile, not so fragile. That's right. I'm going to destroy people. And uh, let me talk to this guy right here. What, what do you have to say? Professor Birch is studying habitats and distribution of Pokemon. The proof enjoys May's, uh, the professor <laughs> enjoys May's help, too. There's a lot of love there. That is true. That is really, really true. Okay. Alrighty, so we're in Little Root Town, like I, like I explained in the last episode. And, you know, two houses, one professor, you know, that kind of stuff. I, yeah, whatever. Not gonna explain myself, but you know what? First is first, let's go ahead and check out our new Pokemon, Swamp Lord, right here. And, uh, now, a difference in uh, Pokemon Crystal from Pokemon Emerald or, you know, Generation 2 to Generation 3 is now you got natures in Pokemon and abilities. As you can see, my Mudkip or my Swamp Lord has the Torrent ability, which ups water moves in a pinch. And the adamant nature, of course, it basically, uh, you know, affects its stats in either way. Not too good, not too familiar, or not too good of what stats or what stats affects what with what kind of ability and nature. So comment down below, guys. Be my person to, you know, let me know what the adamant nature means, you know, that kind of stuff. You know, I have no problem with you guys teaching me a few things because, you know, I'm getting older here. You know that. And as you can see, its attack is pretty good. Special defense is good. Special attack not there. Defense and speed both even. And uh, let's see, we got 27 more experience points to get to the next level. And uh, let's see. Oh, yes, as you can see on the right hand corner right here, you can also get ribbons too. I will further explain the whole ribbon, uh, ribbon concept uh, later on. And then, uh, well, as you can see, you got the moves, different types. I actually t show you the description. And another part about this is moves for Pokemon content, um, contests, which again, I will explain later on in our walkthrough right here. And uh, that's pretty much it. So let's go and let's go find May. So here we are, Route 101. That's right. I get it. Route 101, you know. And talk to this guy. He's like, well, Pokemon will jump at you in tall grass. If you want to catch Pokemon, you have to go into tall grass to search. Okay. Alrighty. That's not that bad. And, uh, well, Route 101 to Oldale Town. And, of course, these guys are not Pokemon trainers that will battle you or anything. But this is just the beginning stages. And, Look at that. The very first Pokemon it wants to take on us is Poochyena, and it actually moved. Pretty cool. It actually moved. So I'm going to be battling this guy right here. I will. I want to, because I want to be ahead of uh, May at all costs. You know me. Good old Draven wants to destroy people. Overlevel this Pokemon. Beat them bitches right here. And, uh, would you look at that. Poochyena gets beat. Everybody's not so happy with me. And talk to this guy. If Pokemon get tired, take them to the Pokemon Center. There's a Pokemon Center in Old Dale Town, right close by. All right. And, uh, well, we got another Pokemon right here. That's right. Another Poochyena. Level 3. And we got the Swamp Lord. About to destroy you. Lay it the smack it down with its tail and its head. You know, the smack it down. And here we go again with another tackle attack. And, uh, seriously, it's just a tackle palooza right here. And there you go, Puchiana defeated. And hello to level six right there. And we got ourselves our first move, Mud Slap, which is a ground type move, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, it is a ground type move. Let's see what that move does again. I completely forgot what it does. I don't know. Let's see. 
Mud Slap. Okay, it's a ground type move, 20 power, 100 accuracy. Hurls mud in the uh, foe's face to reduce its accuracy, which is good. It's good. It's always good. All right, okay. So we got things going, you know, everything's going our way right here. And here we are in the next town, Old Dale Town. Look at that. Look how quickly we just got here and all that stuff. Now, if you talk to this guy right here, he's like, Hi, I work at the Pokemart. Can I get can I get you to come with me? Well, yes. And he's, you know, pretty much going to explain to us what the Pokemon is. This is the Pokemon. Just look at the, uh, the, just look for a blue roof. We'll sell a variety of goods, including Pokeballs for catching Pokemon. Here, I'd like to have, like you to have this as a promotional item. Got ourselves a potion. That's awesome. Pretty awesome right there. A potion can be used anytime, so it's even more useful as, than a Pokemon Center in certain situations. That is true. Very, very true. And here we go. Old Dale Town, where things start off scarce. Pretty good, huh? Pretty good. Alright, let's see. I want to take a rest, so I'm saving my progress. You know, everywhere you go right here in the beginning of any kind of games, it's about saving progress, catching Pokemon, Pokemon potions, all that stuff. And, uh... You know, getting introduced with the game and all that crud. And now, if you talk to this girl right here, she's like, when a Pokemon battle starts, the one at the left of the list goes out first. So when you get more Pokemon in your party, try switching around the order of your Pokemon. It could give you an advantage. It really could. It's like, true story, guys. It could give you an advantage. Now, let's see. What happens if we go out here? Nope. He's like, ah, wait. Please don't come in here. I just discovered the footprints of a rare Pokemon. Wait until I finish sketching them, okay? Um, okay, I don't know. Whatever you say, bro. Alrighty, okay, so let's see. Did we visit that house right there? I don't even know. We gotta go up here, and we're just gonna be talking to a few more people right here. It's like, when Pokemon battle, they eventually level up and become strong look, stronger, I should say. If Pokemon with you become stronger, you'll be able to farther or to go farther away from here that is true that is very very true that is so true it's like i'm, a, I'm an experienced pokemon trainer i should know this i'm just doing this for you know the noobs that never play pokemon emerald now where are we gonna find me we're gonna be going up right here one, route 103 and you're gonna be finding just a few more pokemon you know if you guys want to train your pokemon this is a good place to go if you're starting up there's no well, there's no uh, level restriction right here or anywhere else until maybe, I don't know, first badge or something, you know, just don't overtrain your Pokemon because, you know, yeah, it's going to get a little boring right here. Now, here we go, tackle attack for the win, Zigzagoon defeated, mm-hmm, and look at that, more experience points, I'm loving the experience points right here right now, and uh, talk to this guy, he's like, stop moving away, he's like, my Pokemon is staggering tired, I should have brought a potion. And uh, look at that, the water. Looks so freaking awesome. Technically, I think Hoenn is an island. A big, fat island with a bunch of semi-islands or something. I don't know. I don't know. You guys comment down below. Let me know what it is. And here we got another Poochiana. About to get his butt kicked. You know, that kind of stuff. And uh, there's that tackle attack by that Poochiana. Here we go with tackle attack. You know, I haven't used that mud slap yet. Let's go, mud slap. That's right, you didn't like that, right? That's right. As you can see, level 7. Alright, Swamp Lord. That's right. Okay, so here we are. Route 103 to Old Dale Town. This place is just a little, um, you know, I guess it's a little redundant because it doesn't go anywhere up north, east, only west and, you know, south. That kind of stuff. If you guys are playing Pokemon uh, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, it, then it has more of a meaning afterwards. Now, I'm going to give a potion to Swamp Lord because uh, we're going to be battling May right here. Now, let's go and battle another wild Pokemon. I mean, look at that. It's another Pokemon that I could have, you know, rearranged my team to, you know, Wingle. But you guys, you guys have a good point. Very, very good point. I know somebody made a comment about Wingle not being a very good uh, flying and water type Pokemon. Eventually gets slow. It is what it is, right, bro? Yeah, it is what it is. Swamp Lord wins. Alrighty. Hello, man. It's been a while. Dun 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 dun. I'm gonna talk to this chick right here. All right, what are you? Oh God. So I'm battling a wild Pokemon before I go up against her. What the heck? 
Okay, I might as well battle this Pokemon to show off to her. You know, show off in the chase. That's right, this is our version of flexing our muscles and all that stuff. As you can see, Tackle Attack does a good amount of damage against this Wingle right here. And, uh, we're gonna go Tackle Attack again. That's right, say goodbye, Wingle. That's right, 18 experience points. That's right, you impress me? You impress, I'm flexing my muscles. Alrighty, let's talk to this chick. Let's see, the Pokemon found in Route 103 include... Huh. Oh, hi, Draven. Oh, I see my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift. Since we're here, let's have a quick battle. I'll give you a taste of what being a trainer is like. Whatever you say, baby. Here we go, our very first battle. Trainer battle against our somewhat rival, maybe our potential crush. I don't know, Pokemon trainer May would like to battle and she's coming out with the Trico. Holy bejeebus. Now remember, rival slash friend, I don't even know if, it, if, it, if it's considered a rival or anything like that, but they will choose a Pokemon strong or that has a type advantage against you. In my case, Trico has a type advantage all the way. So here we go, tackle attack. And of course, Trico is pretty fast right here. Faster than my Swamp Lord. And, uh, you know, if it almost beats me, I am immediately going to regret letting you guys choose my Pokemon right here. But Swamp Lord destroys Trico. Look at that. 69. That's right, people. 69. Level 8 and, uh, yeah, look at that. Wow. That's great, Draven. You're pretty good. I know. Pokemon League champion in both Kanto and Johto. That's right. That's right. Flexing my muscles. I think I know why my dad has an eye out for you. I mean, you're just good. Uh, you just got that Pokemon. But it already likes you. You might be able to befriend any kind of Pokemon easily. Well, it's time to head back to the lab. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so we just flex our muscles now. And uh, I guess we have to go back down. I I'm pretty sure. I don't know. We're going back down. There's not a lot of stuff that we can do. Let's see. What if we go to the other side where the guy's like... The Pokemon Prince. Uh, okay. Let me see. Nope. He's still... He's still sketching. Wow. How long does it take for you to sketch freaking footprints? Yeah, let's go back home. And there's me. There's our good old buddy. He's like, Draven, over here. Let's hurry home. Okay. Alrighty. Whatever you say. Whatever you say, homegirl. Alrighty. Jumping off the ledges. Coming back home like a boss. Little Root Town. I guess we're gonna have to go back to the uh, to the lab right here, right? Let's see. Gonna walk up, and I'm not even controlling this guy, Professor Birch. Oh, hi, Draven. I heard you beat May on a fair, on your very first try. That's excellent. May's been helping me, or I've been helping with my research for a long time. May has an extensive history as a Pokemon trainer already. Here, Draven, I ordered this for my uh, research, but I think you should have uh, this Pokédex. As you can see, we got ourselves a good Pokédex. The Pokédex is a high-tech tool that automatically records any Pokémon you meet or catch. My kid, May, goes everywhere with it. Whenever my kid catches a rare Pokémon and records its data in the Pokédex, why May looks for me while I'm out doing field work and shows me. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wow, Draven, you got a Pokédex, too. That's great. Just like me. I've got something to, uh, I've got something for you, too. Oh. And look at that. We got Pokeballs. This girl's awesome. This girl's awesome. When she gives you Pokeballs, date her. Just date her, guys. It's fun if you get, or wait, 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 wait. What does it say right here? It's fun if you can uh, get a lot of Pokemon. I'm going to, to, to look all over the place because I want different Pokemon. If I find any cute Pokemon, I'll catch them with Pokeballs. That's right. Again, if she gives you a pokeball just date her guys that's all i gotta say okay so this was the i guess first official maybe i don't know second official episode i don't even know but thank you guys for watching tomorrow we'll be exploring more of hoenn getting things going and hey you know what we might be capturing a few more pokemon you know that kind of stuff yeah that's right guys i'll see you guys in the next episode for another pokemon emerald version walkthrough episode why am I talking this long? I don't even know. See you guys.